Paimiji Castle is one of Japan's three renowned castles. This historical gem earned the prestigious title of World Cultural Heritage in 1993. If you're thinking about visiting Haimaji Castle, how should you plan your travel schedule? And what are the travel tips? Wondering about the transportation options? And if there are any discounted tickets available? You can discover all the answers in this video. Let's get started. Haimaji Castle can be found in the Kansai region of Hyogo Prefecture. It's often hailed as the quintessential Japanese castle. Thanks to its gleaming white exterior walls, it goes by the nickname White Egret Castle. Notably, it was the first structure in Japan to earn the prestigious World Cultural Heritage designation, earning it the title of Japan's top-ranked castle. The best times to visit Heimeji Castle are during spring for cherry blossom viewing and in autumn for maple viewing. It's a good idea to check the crowd forecast on the official website before your trip. This way, you can pick a less crowded time, or you might even miss out on getting tickets to enter the castle. During April and May each year, Haimaji Castle tends to get pretty crowded. For safety reasons, they manage the number of visitors inside the main keep by issuing limited entry tickets. The maximum number of entry tickets to the main keep they give out each day is 15,000. Generally, you can snag these tickets if you visit in the morning. We went to the castle during cherry blossom season. We found that waiting in line to the main keep, exploring, and snapping pictures typically took around three to four hours. As we strolled through the Ottoman gate at the entrance, we stepped into Sanamaru Square, and to our delight, the entire Himeji Castle was adorned with cherry blossoms. It looked incredibly beautiful. Once you've strolled through Sanamaru Square and enjoyed the cherry blossoms in the peony garden within the castle walls, your next step will be to get in line and buy your ticket. The ticket price for adults is 1,000 yen, and for kids, it's 300 yen. Keep in mind that before entering the castle towers, all visitors are required to remove their shoes. It's a good idea to wear thicker socks, especially during the winter months, as the wooden floors can get quite cold. Once you step inside the main castle, you'll need to join a line and make your way up the stairs, taking it slow. As you ascend the floors, you'll notice that the steps get narrower and steeper. If you're an older individual with mobility challenges, it's a good idea to think about whether you'd like to explore the exterior of the castle instead. If you happen to be six feet tall, please be cautious about your head as you climb the castle's interior floors. While you're on your visit, make sure to grab the specially designed Himaji Castle Guide app. It'll provide you with AR introductions for all the key points of interest, making it a breeze to grasp the intricate mechanisms, designs, and features of this historic castle. When you're up on the top floor of the castle tower, you'll be treated to a breathtaking view of the entire city of Himaji. It's absolutely spectacular. Once you've made your way up to the top, simply head back down the stairs and exit. That will lead you to Bizenmaru Square, right in front of the castle tower. Here, you'll have the chance to admire the grandeur of Himeji Castle, gleaming in its majestic white from different viewpoints. Haimaji City is a crucial transportation hub in western Hyogo Prefecture, with JR West and Sanyo Electric Railway running the show. The quickest, albeit pricier option, is hopping on the Sanyo Shinkansen line by JR West at Shin Osaka Station, going through Shin Kobe Station and landing at JR Haimaji Station. Alternatively, you can start at Yamida, take the JR Kobe line to Sanamiya and Kobe, and from there, head to JR Haimaji Station. If you're looking to save some cash, the most economical choice is to catch the Hanshine Railway from either Namba or Amida to Sanomiya and then transfer to the Sanya Railway bound for Sanya Haimji Station. From either JR Haimiji Station or Sanya Haimiji Station, it's just a 20-minute stroll to reach the castle. When you're thinking about getting discounted tickets to visit Himeji Castle, you've got a few different options to consider. Here are some suggestions that might come in handy. If you're eager to save time and want to avoid spending too much of it on the train, think about picking up the Kansai Wide Area Rail Pass. If your plan is to head straight from Kansai Airport to Himeji Castle, the Himeji Tourist Pass is a fantastic choice. It even includes a one-way airport ticket, which offers great bang for your buck. If you're considering a day trip from Osaka or Kobe, take a look at the Hanshain Sanyo Seaside one-day ticket. They might be just what you're looking for. And if your travels involve multiple places, you can't go wrong with the Kansai Through Pass. It's a reliable option for your journey. Just like us, we started our day in Kobe, then traveled to Himeji and back to Kobe before heading to Kyoto, all in a single day. We made use of the Kansai Through Pass, which helped us save a lot of money. If you're interested in learning more about various money, saving transportation passes in the Kansai area, check out these videos. See you at next spot in Kyoto, 